Hey, hello everyone. This is Victor Momo from Excel Moments. And in this video, I want to show how to conditionally format a range of cells using a formula and also incorporating wildcards. This is based off a problem that was shared with me recently where the uh, person who asked the question wanted to conditionally format rows where the ID was invalid. Okay, so the first question you ask yourself is, what's a valid ID? So for this example, uh, similar to what the um, person shared, a valid ID is one that starts with an A, it ends with a T, and it's four characters long. So starts with an A, ends with a T, and it's four characters long. So this will be valid. A4 would be valid. This now starts with an A, ends with a T, but it's five characters long. This will not be valid. You know, so we just want to highlight or conditionally format, you know, the rows where it's invalid like that. Now, one thing you notice is that in conditional formatting, you already have a lot of built-in options which help you to get this done. Let's select the range you're interested in. Control Shift down, Control Shift right. Okay, you do conditional formatting, you go to highlight cell rows. You would see text that contains, you know, you can come up with, you know, that, um, use that option depending on the scenario. If you go back to conditional formatting and you go to highlight cell rules and go to more rules, you can change this drop down here to specific text. You see some other options, you know, beginning with, ending with. You have a lot of those which sometimes, you know, could be sufficient to get the problem solved. But the general problem is that for all of this, it just works in the column where, you know, the condition or the criteria is being checked against. So if you want to just um, highlight one column, then you can use that option. The moment you now want to highlight, you know, a group of columns based on the criteria in just one column, you most likely have to resort to a formula. Okay. So for this problem here, what are we trying to do? We are trying to just check if it starts with an A and ends with a T. So what do we know? We know it starts with an A. If it ends with a T and it's four characters, it means you have two characters in between the first and the last. So I can represent that by question mark, question mark, just to bring in the wildcards into it. You know that question mark in wildcards represent a single character. You can't use an asterisk here. If you use an asterisk, even this with five characters will be found. But you need it to be four for sure. So you start with an A, end with a T, and two question marks. So this is all you need. The only other thing you then need to do is just to use like a count if. You count within each cell if this criteria is met. If it's met, it should give you, you know, a number greater than zero. If it's not met, it should give you zero. So here, I'm just going to do count if, right? I select this cell, and my criteria is just going to be that expression I have there. A, question mark, question mark. Oh, sorry. Okay. A, question mark, question mark, T. Okay. Uh, I think I have my... <laughs> Uh, I think I need to change where I have my um, my double quotes. Just give me a second. Okay, so you can see that we have ones and zeros, right? So everywhere you have a one means that the criteria was met, and everywhere you have a zero means that you know the criteria wasn't met. So this is the same formula I'm just going to incorporate into conditional formatting. So I'm going to take this off. And let's go again. So select your data here, control shift right, control shift down. Shortcut for conditional formatting, you can use Alt O D. Then you do your what new rule. And then we say we want to use a formula this time. So your formula is going to be that simple. It's just going to be the same count if. I just like to write it every time. So count if A2, you always use the top leftmost cell. To write your formula which in this case is a2 if the expression is what a question mark question mark c okay so you are checking if this is equals to zero if it's equals to zero it means that that expression is not found right so you, you know that whenever you use conditional formatting with a formula it must always give you a true or false that's the way it has to be written so no matter how complex the expression is always make sure it results in a true or false a boolean right so now i'm going to select my um option for the formatting let me just put this light color and i do okay all right so now 
once you look at this to the maybe not too experienced user with conditional formatting, everything looks fine. You know, we've tested it in the cell using a formula, so it should work. But you will see that the result isn't what you expect. So let's do an apply here. So the moment you apply, what do you notice? You notice that it is fine in terms of column A. The cells that are highlighted in column A are the cells that should be highlighted. But when it goes to B, C, D, you know, it just goes to town and highlights all of them. And this is not what you want. You want all, you know, the rows that meet the criteria to be highlighted and so on. So let's go back in there and let's see what's really going on with the formula. It looks very simple, so there shouldn't be a problem. So here is what is going on. The way the formula works is really just the way formulas work in your Excel, you know, cell in the worksheet too. And you have to think about it, um, having in mind, you know, absolute and relative references. Okay, so if I wrote a formula here and in cell column E, that formula was referencing column E. By the time I take that formula to column F, it will start referencing column B. By the time I take it to column G, it will start referencing column C, right? It keeps moving relatively. But you know that for this, what you are testing is the unique ID, right? And the unique ID is column A. So you are not checking, oh, okay, fine, if the full names meet the criteria, if location meets the criteria, no. It is conditionally formats columns B, C, D, so long as A, you know, meets the criteria. So what you need to do here is just to put a dollar before the A to lock that so that as conditional formatting internally is moving this formula from column to column, it still always references what A and that doesn't change. So the formatting will be based on whatever it sees in column A. Okay, so let's do okay this time. Let's do apply. And you now see that you have you know, what you want. Okay, so just a few things in there for you to think about that one when you want to highlight or conditionally format more than one column most likely would need you know to use a formula for that um you can also use wildcards in your formula expressions the formula must always result in a boolean you know a true or false and whenever you're writing the formula always think relative and absolute references depending on the situation sometimes you need it to be relative Sometimes you need it to be mixed. Sometimes you need it to be, you know, absolute. So just something I thought to share. Conditional formatting with formulas and incorporating, you know, wild cards into it. So if you like this video, you can hit the like button or you can subscribe to the channel Excel Moments. And like I always say, if you can think it, Excel most likely can do it. So I'm out.